his wife, uh, Dorcas, Bishop Dorcas, there, getting spruced up ahead of uh, the ceremony. But of course, for her, as you can see, uh, she's having her makeup done. And just maybe we can have a few questions, just one or two questions for her. Thank you so much. And uh, what are your expectations today? It, it, it appears to be quite a big day. And actually, your husband earlier on said that this is his biggest day in his entire public life. What about you? Is it uh, your biggest day ever? Uh, I think it is one of the greatest day. And I really thank God because uh, maybe it is not anything that you you had planned from when you are born, but uh, it is going to be the, uh, the the most wonderful day. I know. Mm -hmm. Yes. As you have seen, a number of pictures of the Kasarani Stadium uh, as from as early as 5 a.m. It was full to the brim. A lot of your supporters actually had already occupied their seats there. Uh, what does that tell you, especially even as you begin your new era as the uh, country's uh, pres uh, presidency, second presidency under the 2010 constitution? I think uh, what that informs us is that we have a huge task ahead. There is expectation from everyone and uh, they want their lives to change. And uh, to me, I think, uh, I feel that uh, um, we need to rethink and go and uh, work and work very hard because uh, the expectation, the vibration in the air, it is uh, full of expectation, it's pregnant. and I. I think we are uh, God willing and God helping us. We are going to midwife a new Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. I, first of all, you look very, very beautiful. And uh, if I may pick up from where my colleague has left off, maybe you can share with us uh, the kind of feeling you have as the wife to Rigadi, the deputy elect. How are you feeling this morning? I feel excited and uh, I think um, I have a good husband. And the way he has worked for the four years, uh, day and night, and I, I am excited also for him and uh, to see that uh, whatever he has been working for is just about to happen. I'm really excited for him and for myself and for the family and the family of Kenya. Yeah. From the background, we can hear songs and just how crucial has religion and God and church has been actually in your campaigns and in actually now occupying the second uh, most important and most powerful position in the country. I'm a Christian and I'm a ordained pastor, so it's not about religion. The religion is something else, but Christianity is a lifestyle. So God is the center of everything. And you can see without God, how could this have happened? When you get hazardous getting into the highest office of the land, it can only take the hand of God. And that's why we've been going around. And we also know that, uh, you know, without God in Kenya, you get chaos, you don't have peace, you don't have unity. But when people are united by the creator God, you find that people love one another, people are in harmony with one another, people are, have unity and that is why we love God and we know this time it has been about God and it continue to be about God. Well, it has been a journey. What can you tell Kenyans out there who are waiting for you? 60,000 Kenyans are at Kasarani Stadium waiting for you guys to arrive as we, celebrate, as we saw in the President Ruto. As a mother and as a pastor, I love you all. <laughs> and uh, it is so great to see you and your ex expectations definitely will not be cut short. We have a God who has been working and he's working now and as he gives us the, the strength, we promise that we are going to work for you because you have given us this job and we really are humbled to you all Kenyans by how you have come out. You are there at 3, 4 a.m. May God really tremendously bless you. We will serve you as God enables us. Thank you so much. Thank, Indeed, you. thank you so much. Thank you. Well, that has been the one.